I'll show you how to install your Broodminder cell device now. The, this is the Broodminder T91 uh, cell device based on the Thingy 91 from the Nordic Semiconductor. Uh, we introduced this late in uh, 2021. So you can, there's two choices. One is the solar powered one, which is this. And one is just, uh, we call it a naked one. Uh, if you can come up with the charging for it, then we'll just send you this, which is much simpler. And, you know, it's obviously not weatherproof. You can put it in uh, some sort of box. And it has a charging port right here. Uh, on both of them, this is the power switch. So what I'll show you is installation of the solar kit, because it's the same thing, but with the solar battery. So uh, you'll get it. You screw these two halves together so that uh, the, it's complete. And just be sure that when you install it in the apiary, the solar panel needs to be print, you know, pointed towards the sun. Uh, seems obvious, but it's not always done. Uh, then the lid has a gasket on it. Uh, you'll want to make sure that when you replace it, the gasket's in place. Because if it's not, it will leak uh, the rain and everything and as moisture collects in this it will ruin the electronics so you'll want to be sure and check this black gasket in here and that it's not twisted and it goes in and then it should work very nicely now what I'll show you is turning on the T91 and the switch is right here and if you flip that on you'll see some lights you'll see it blink to say it's booting then it'll come on with a blue light here in a few seconds and that allows uh, you to update the firmware in case we tell you that it needs it. Uh, so don't do it unless um, we tell you to. But with the blue light, if you push this center button, it'll initiate and start grabbing the firmware update from the cellular network. Okay, then you saw a couple of flashes. Two flashes means it's connecting to the cell tower. And then after it connects to the cell tower, it'll flash three times as it's connecting to um, mybroodminder.com okay so there was the three flashes now it's connecting to mybroodminder.com and the long flash means it was successful so green is good now it's flashing green and it's scanning for broodminder devices and every time it finds one it'll flash like this and it'll do this uh, the first time I think for 15 seconds or so and when it's done it'll have a long flash right there and now it's sending it, the data up to mybroodminder.com now this uh, device does not require a, uh, a the bees app or anything so it goes directly to mybroodminder.com you won't see it uh, in the bees app uh, you won't see it in the apps uh, it's just taking care of itself uh, now if you want to initiate a uh, scan right now then you can push this button in the center and it will flash and sort of and then start doing its data acquisition cycle so that as you're moving it around the apiary you can see if it comes into mybroodminder.com and how you do that is when we assign it to you it should show up in your configure menu down here and you can see that it should also automatically show up in your um, apiary that it's found and uh, then you can look at the data from it so here you can see the graph and you can see if I hover over it uh, you can see all the parameters that it's storing from the device if you scroll down a little bit you can see what devices it found and when the last time it was that it uploaded it so you can see that you know I uploaded it today and uh, every time you push the button you'll see that of course then you can also jump to the devices and see the the data from the devices themselves so that's about it uh, you know, like I said when you put the cover back on make sure to inspect the gasket that it's in there tighten them hand tight you know not overly tight and uh, it should be good uh, the last thing I'll point out is the four LEDs on the battery when it's charging you should see those light up uh, when it's in the sun and um, 
if you get the naked version, right now it's lasting about three weeks on a charge. So you need to uh, have it hooked to a charger every once in a while, every couple of weeks. Uh, in, in spring here, we're going to be working on the firmware again, and we should get it to last over a year. But right now, that's where we stood. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you got questions, you know, Mike's always out there at support at broodminder.com. And remember, every hive counts. <laughs>